Well, when asked about our hometown, it's often the first place we mention when somebody asks, where are you from? Galen Culver has the story of an artist who came back home with paint, brushes, and a bucket of love. There's never been too much in the way of people in these Oklahoma hills, but opportunity, freedom, and a new start hung in the air when Lee and Mary Tatums applied for and received a post office in 1895. Our grandparents grew, uh, moved here in the late 40s, early 50s, and my mother and father grew up here. Tony Swan still stands in the shadow of this African-American community, one of 50 so-called all-black or freedmen towns in Oklahoma. You just might have to go up on the curve. Since springtime, yeah. he's been putting his own mark on its history, a mural on the north wall of the old Bethel Missionary Baptist Church. Trying to capture community. Uh, yeah, support. Because everybody in the community turned out for this particular baptism. Swan still remembers Varner's Grocery, swapping stories and sweet preserves in the storm cellar of his grandparents' house. And I wish I'd pay more attention. As of August 24, his commission from the church and community, First his own take on a baptism from the 1930s, is in touch-up phase now. Yeah, getting some definition and um, clarity, I guess. <laughs> he had hopes of finishing before the weather got too warm, but he's happy with the result. It tells a story. Yeah. It was just all I needed to do for an artist. That's so, what a mural's supposed to do. That's what a mural's right? supposed to do. The old church, built in 1919, is already on the National Historic Register. It too casts a long shadow across these hills. I'm actually surprised half the town is up here. I know everybody knows you're here by now. Tony Swan stands in cool shade. His mural, his many drives back and forth from his home in Texas, and his efforts yeah. required no payment. No, I'm volunteering. Like, really? I'm like, yeah. Hometowns, their history, their pull on the heart, form the frame through which we all see the world. It's for Tatum, it's like it's for family, where my heart is. This is one frame we can all appreciate. In Tatum's Galen Culver News 4, is this a great state or what? Those pictures tell a story and so does Galen. Hmm. Tatum sits along Highway 7 between Davis and Duncan. You can't see the mural from the highway, but you can see the old church. The mural and historic marker both face north.